May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you once again. Once again, we welcome you to Tano TV, where the word of God is being digested and then being transformed a lot of souls to the saving knowledge of Christ. Today, we bring to your way an episode called Walking with God in a Corruptible World. Walking with God in a Corruptible World. We are living in a world where the mentality of people has been poised with a lot of philosophy and a lot of ideas and a lot of things that are contrary to the scriptures. Today, we are going to look about some personalities in this episode. We are going to look about some personalities, some biblical characters who worked with God boldly in the time of danger, in a time of calamity, in a time of atrocity. In our first piece episode, we learned about Enoch. Enoch was a man who worked with God. 300 years. Blamelessly. He worked with God blamelessly. And we saw that working with God blamelessly, the Lord took him from the surface of the earth that you could not find him. Enoch walked with God and the Lord took him away. Today we bring to you away another character called Noah. Noah. Noah was also a man who walked with God. Noah walked with God in a time where the mentality, the ideas of people were becoming evil. Where the incarnation of man were evil continuously. Enoch walked with God despite the challenges that he may encounter in his generation. Enoch walked with God according to Genesis chapter 6. We'll be looking from verse 1 to chapter 7. That we heard, we saw that Enoch, when the incarnation of man was evil, the Lord uses Noah. And then the Lord saw that Noah was a blameless man, a person without fault or default in his presence. And the Lord used Noah to save his family. The Lord used Noah to save his family. So we are living in, a, as I usually say, we are living in a generation where there is no option for us to say that God, we cannot live a righteous life. God, we cannot live a righteous life. Noah lived in a corruptible world. In his era, he lived in a world where the incarnation of man was becoming too strange, too evil. Enoch walked with God. He never gave up, as we said in the first episode. And Noah also walked with God. And then the Lord saw that Noah was a righteous person. In this generation that we are saying the mentality of people have become poised by a lot of philosophies, by a lot of ideas, a lot of things. Yes, still, there are some people God find out to be holy and righteous in his presence. Are you one of them? Noah walked with God. And the Lord saw that he was a righteous person. We are reading from Genesis chapter 6, verse the 4. We should have begun from verse 1, where we are reading from verse 4. So if you have time, just take your Bible and then read through. You will understand what we want to bring across your way. The sons of man had children with the human women they desire. The children became the powerful warriors who have been famous since that time, so long ago. 
they were the men with amazing power who lived in the land at that time and also later. The Lord saw that the people on earth were doing more and more evil things. The Lord saw that the people on earth were doing more and more evil things. In fact, every single thought that entered their mind was evil. Just as in this generation, the generation of Noah can be compared to our generation, where the intention, where the ideas, where everything that man thinks of is only evil. But Noah did not allow the things that was happening, the circumstances around his life to be corrupted. We should not allow the economy to corrupt us. We should not allow the things of the world to corrupt us. But we should rather demonstrate the power of God, the power of the righteousness. A time like this can be compared to the time of Noah. A lot of people are saying that in the time of Noah, there was nothing like technology. But in our time, there are technologies that are apprehending us from doing what is necessary to be done. But I want to tell you today that Noah had his own challenge. And our generation, we have our own challenge. We should not compare that Noah generation was different from our generation. The, there is a grace that has been provided for us as far as we avail ourselves. The Lord is going to use us. So our in this our episode, we want to tell an appeal to the entire global world that we have no excuse to say that in our generation we can't live a righteous life. Meanwhile, in a corruptible generation, a man pleases the Lord. A man pleases the Lord. I pray that the grace that the Lord has given us in this generation should help us to demonstrate the power of the righteousness. Noah obeyed the Lord. He walked with God. And then it is it was through Noah that the Lord revealed his intention to humanity. What is going to happen? And Noah preached the word of God for 120 years. Yes, still. The stubborn and hard people did not obey what Noah had said. I pray that the God of peace, the God of our fathers, empower us to overcome every challenges, to overcome every circumstances that are troubling our heart and our soul in this generation. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit continue to be with us now and forevermore. May God, who helped Noah to live a righteous life in this generation, continue to help us to live a righteous life in this our generation may god grace abound for us in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray amen with this i invite you if you have not accepted our lord jesus christ as your lord and personal savior i invite you this time around that you should pray with me this kind of prayer our heavenly father i thank you once again i am a sinner and it is through your grace and mercy that jesus christ died for us Father, I've come before you. Please accept me as your son. And I also accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. That I will walk with you all the days of my life. And I will remain in the house of God 
all the days of my life. So help me, God. If you have prayed this kind of prayer, you are now a son of God. You have now become a child of the Most High God. Please find a Bible-believing church and commune with them. Have fellowship and obey the scriptures that will be said to you. For our Lord Jesus Christ is willing and is ever ready to save every lost soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God's grace continue to abound for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that I pray. Amen.